In this video, we will look at the layer masking features in ToonSquid. The basic idea of masking is that you want to show one layer only on the pixels where another layer is visible. For example, in this scene we have a text layer and a pixel layer. If we move the pixel layer above the text layer, we see the pixel layer covering everything underneath. However, if we tap on the pixel layer and select toggle mask, now the pixel layer only shows where the text layer has some text. Therefore, the text layer is now the mask, and the pixel layer is masked to it. This is indicated by the small arrow next to the layer thumbnail. As you can see, the layers are still separate from each other, and you can move them and animate them individually. The text layer is also still visible at the moment. We can see this more clearly if we reduce the opacity of the pixel layer. Sometimes you want a layer to only act as a mask and not show up in the animation itself. For this, we can select the Hide Mask option on the Mask layer. Notice that this is different than hiding the Mask layer using the normal visibility button that all layers have. In that case, the Mask layers also disappear. Now that the mask is hidden, we have a new option called Invert Mask. To make its effect more obvious, I will add a new layer at the very bottom. If we now tap on Invert Mask, the text layer effectively gets cut out of the pixel layer above and we can see everything underneath through the hole. This is also how the text masking works in the demo animation here. All of these features also work for animation layers in the timeline and not just drawing layers. 